Hello and welcome. I am the Exile King. And today there's been a major update for this game right here, Medieval Dynasty. So I'm excited to show you about that. Um, first of all, I'm making my way over to see Samber because he's gone and built himself a new house. Now I'm just checking here because the last time I went to visit this guy, I got attacked by a load of wolves. And uh, yeah, I was scared. They were, um, Samba was here, sitting down, and he didn't, they didn't bother him, and he just didn't seem scared by them, but they got, they scared me. So this is Samba's new house. Not much to it. Same as most of their houses. Other things that have been added to the game, you can now build these kind of benches here, uh, the workbench and these stools. So that's good to see. And I'll just click on technology here. So if I click into resource storage, first of all, uh, so yeah, you can build a simple wooden stool, a uh, wooden table, and yeah, lanterns, torches have been added, and lanterns, so they'll be good for lighting up um, your village and giving them more character at night time, because we're all looking forward to that. A uh, wooden table, lanterns, it's the one I was just talking about, and um, be a while until I unlock that. Uh, but yeah, and that's pretty much it for that category. Then on the workshop, they've unlocked uh, wooden ladles, wooden spoons, uh, wicker baskets, small, medium and large. There's some new clothes, I think, as well. Um, there's definitely new backpacks. So uh, you can carry more weight with those. Um, for example, this small pouch here, you get an extra 3 kg. Um, to carry and this one is for an extra 10 kg so that's useful when you're um, logging like stuff like clay around or logs some more new cutlery and stuff backpack pouches tavern just going through them here I think some of these hoodies are new long hood I'm not sure if that was there before um, long fur hood could be wrong. You can correct me on that if I am. Simple large backpack. That gives you 20 kg. So that's a big jump up. Because you're, you're up to 55 kg then. So if you're doing a long haul or if you're trying to sell stuff in different villages, that would be handy to have. Okay, I'm just going to click on the unstuck and go back to my base. Uh, back to my storage, resource storage. If you've been watching my videos, um, you'll see that I've decided to build up in the, the hills up here. Uh, my new episode will be out after this, and I've decided to build my resource storage here, tactically really. And I've built a lot of new buildings for my next episode, so just in the distance there. So check that out after this video. Now I'm just going to make my way towards the town. And while I do that, let's talk about events. So events have been added to this game, and let me see this here. Um, so events, one day you might have to deal with heavy rains that damage your crops, but a few months later, your people might get a significant boost because the joy of spring can be felt in the air. These events can have a major impact on your game and will test your wits, leadership and tact. Um, so it also says here, sorry, you will be faced with many scenarios that can play out depending on how you deal with them. They have a picture in their thing and it says here, Man in tights, a nobleman was passing through your village. He lost his purse in front of you. What will you do? Return to the nobleman and get a hundred dynasty reputation but minus five mood. Now I'm guessing that minus five mood is for the villagers you have. Um, option two, let your people have it. And you get plus 10 mood. I'm guessing that's for all of the villagers. So that's not bad either. And then option three. Take it for yourself. You get 100 coin. And minus 15 mood. So that seems like a, a very bad option. So early on in the game. I'd say option one. Seems the best. For 100 dynasty reputation. Um, I don't know. Mood is not majorly significant. At this moment. Um, in time. So minus five hit. Uh, doesn't seem so bad, but maybe, maybe as the game goes on, um, 
could be worse. Um, so yes, yeah, so the lanterns added new furniture to set here. Uh, I'll go out here and try and maybe create some of the furniture for you. Some of the whisk wicker baskets. I'm just looking around here now. Some of the villagers see if they have any new clothes. I don't seem to see any there now. Um, you can do new cart wheels, but at the moment they're they're useless for you. What's going on here? They're having a bit of a chat. Is their back to them? I must have fallen out with them. But yeah, so you can create the cart wheel, but at the moment it's no use for you. Apart from decoration, but I'm sure down the line you, you'll probably need it to build carts and things like that. So it's a welcome addition. And apart from that, there's not much else you to add. And um, there's a few new fixes, bug fixes, and things like that. So they added here new game features, events is added, customized gameplay settings, new furniture, two stools, bench, and a table. New facilities to illuminate the village. So a standing torch and lantern as I showed. Uh, new types of items to increase characters' inventory capacity. Backpacks and pouches. New village management notifications on HUD. Inhabitants provide fur in the hunting lodge now. New sounds of filling the bucket with water. New sounds of pouring water from the bucket. Removing NPCs from the house via the building details menu or the NPC details menu. Uh, the Hungarian language has been added, so there you go. Um, various wicker and wooden decoration items for crafting. And so House for Samba, as I said, uh, players and NPCs can now patrol the village at night. So that's pretty cool uh, that you'd have them checking out in case you have intruders. And later down the line when they introduce bandits and that, it'll be good to have a patrol to see that everything's okay. Um, holding UI, new side sounds, new grain grinding sounds for corn, um, technology schemes, descriptions now have item statistics and or resources required to craft. Right gamepad, thumbstick, now moves map, major tab. Well, that's the workbench there. Just create just to show you. I've shown you already in Sambers. Um, we can't really interact with it, but the NPCs can. And there is the wooden stool. Okay, I think I've pretty much everything covered from this new major update. Thanks for tuning in to this video. And if you want to see more from me, then click on the link to the right and uh, check out the playlists. Uh, please subscribe for more. And my new update will, or my new episode will be out after this so check that out too where i'll show you this building here that i built in the workshop and a few other buildings i built behind it i'll just give you a sneak peek there not too much keep the mystery and yeah okay thanks very much and i'll see you around